Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly unusual UK sim review. Um, what it is is I've basically uh, got a lot of Armstrong powerhouse add-ons as you can probably tell by now. Um, I've got well over 60. Um, so obviously if you look at my uh, sound packs, I've got all them sound packs, uh, helmsman packs, um, scenario packs. And the problem that you've got with all this sort of stuff is that you know a scenario pack may have extra stock associated with it. Um, if you get a rolling stock, uh, then you get scenarios with it which need extra stock, and some of them have a branding patch or log logo patch. Um, so that's three things for every one that you might have, or certainly a minimum of two for every one that you might have. Uh, and you know. Armstrong Paris had an Easter sale and I bought about five items so that was a minimum of 10 installs potentially 15 uh, and obviously if it's an enhancement pack that's come out and I've just bought it then potentially they've updated some scenario packs as well and that means that I've got to download them and reinstall them as well so that's a lot of installing to do um, so clicking on each one of them is a bit of a pain in the backside if I'm honest. So what I've done is I've created a, a script. Uh, it's basically a batch file if anybody knows about DOS and command prompt if you remember the good old days. So I've created this batch file uh, to basically unpack the zip files um, and install them uh, and install them in order. Um, so I've sort of thought well I'll do a video about it. I'll copy and paste this batch file into the description of the video and then all you've got to do is copy and paste it and then amend things as necessary so hello Gemma got me little one here hello say hello right so she's gonna sit on my knee just while we talk a little bit uh, I'm gonna talk through this batch file just so nobody thinks uh, what's what's this rubbish is it gonna break my computer so the stuff at the top is just comments REM means remark uh, so T so T colon when it runs it connects to my T drive so my T drive here is where I've got all of my uh, Armstrong powerhouse well all of my train simulator add-ons uh, in there so yeah those are all my train simulator add-ons if you then so it goes T colon then it does CD Armstrong powerhouse so we've got CD Armstrong powerhouse great so it goes into that folder and what I've done is I've got all of my stuff segmented in order here I've got my roots first uh, I've then got rolling stock I've then got same packs enhancement packs and the reason why I do that and split it all out is because obviously I've got some same packs like the class 43 MCU same pack and the Mark 3 culture one and the Valenta one which have now been superseded by the enhancement pack but I may have some of the scenario packs that need the sound pack um, so just in case I make sure it installs in order so it basically installs root uh, well I've got roots first then rolling stock then same pack then enhancement packs branding pack because obviously it needs the other uh, enhancement pack hello yes hello uh, um, needs either the enhancement pack to apply that to or the rolling stock to apply that to then I've got the scenario packs because for that thing uses everything else and then once all that's installed we've then got the extra stock so I dump the zip files into folders and that's how this batch file is kind of structured so what it does is it goes right okay it goes into my Armstrong powerhouse folder it's first thing then it goes right CD roots so it's the first thing that it goes into it goes into that folder and then what you need to do is you need to have WinRAR installed on your computer it's uh, obviously the free non-registered non-corporate version so what it does it says right okay so if, if well if we rewind a bit if you dump your zip file in so I've got the weary lines in there and then obviously your rolling stock one I've got all the rolling stock zip files there so it'll go goes into the root folder then it says calls WinRAR which is installed in that directory at the moment and then it says right extract it and um, basically uh, tells it to extract these zip files into their own folders oh, you want to go down now okay there you go thank you there you go little one Bye. right uh, and do it to anything that ends in dot zip so it'll then go away and unpack that into there it'll then say right it if you know dir command if i open up command prompt type dir you obviously get a directory structure ok 
can see what's in there. So what I'm doing is say, uh, give me uh, a directory um, which is it basically lists just the directories. So if I copy and paste that bit, and paste that into there, what it basically does is it just gives me directories because I'm not bothered about the files. And it outputs that into a text file called list.txt. And I use that as a kind of a variable, if you want to call it that, or a, a, an array of variables. So for, we then go into this for loop, it says for everything. So the, take the first line in the list and we go into that folder. So the reason why I've got the directories is so that I can then CD into that folder. So if I pick a, the rolling stock one, so it basically it's list.txt and then goes right, okay, I know I've got all these directories. Uh, the first one that it'll pick, it'll be the first one in the list, CD go into it. So it goes into it and then it goes right, okay, it then runs directory again but finds everything that ends in exe because that's the thing that runs um, and then it outputs that into a text file called exes so again and it says right for everything in the exes.txt run it so that's what call basically does so it'll find in this instance baa dot uh, hyphen bza wagon pack dot executable uh, and runs it and if it's got multiple executables it'll loop through that until it gets to the end of it and then once it's finished, it deletes the text file, so it cleans it up. Then it goes back up one, uh, one level. And then it goes, uh, I'm just putting, I'm outputting that to the screen basically. And then it goes back to the top of the for loop and then it goes through everything in the list.txt folder. And then once it's finished, so next, basically, next one in the list it'll go into, run the executable, clean it up, go back again, etc., etc. And then once it's finished, it deletes the, the list.txt. And then, being that it's copied and pasted, so basically all of this lot. And my little ones just click that to make it difficult. Right. Um, all of this lot is just copied and pasted uh, seven times. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven for each of the folders that it's in. Um, so that's basically how the batch file runs. Which is. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Right. And that's basically what it does. So, if this is your computer, what do you need to do to make it work? So, obviously, you might not have your downloads uh, or your stuff for Amazon Paris on the T drive. So, if it's on the C drive, change that to be C, example. I'll put mine back to T. Uh, you may not store it in Amazon Paris as a folder, whatever, go into that. I would highly recommend, obviously, structuring your downloads and things like that in this order because then we know it installs in the correct order it might be me it might not matter but I'm a little bit paranoid that way so if you structure your folders wherever they're located all you've got to do is obviously update the folder it's located onto on the drive that you're in and then obviously if your WinRAR is not installed in that folder um, then obviously you need to update that variable uh, in the, the seven times that it sees it basically and then after that, all you've got to do is copy and paste all this text into a text file, save it as a .bat extension rather than a .text extension, uh, and that's basically it. So what happens when you run it is you click it, click run, and all of a sudden it goes, oh look, um, do you want me to, so it starts extracting the folder, obviously it's saying, do I want to confirm uh, overwriting it because I've already got a folder that exists with everything in it. I'm going to say no to all in this instance. So now it's calling, so you can see it's created list.txt because it's found the directory, and in here it's found exes thingy because it's actually found the executable. Uh, and being that this is running off a NAS box because that's where I've got all my installs located, it's taking a little while to obviously fire up um, the weary lines because it's got to pull up 700 meg across my network. Uh, my NAS box is flashing away quite merrily. Um, I'm going to pad for time. How is everybody? <laughs> just while we wait for the executable to fire up. Just to prove I've not got any kind of rabbits up the old sleeve. Um, it's unfortunate that this is the first folder. Because obviously the other folders are a lot quicker than this. Uh, come on computer. Any time today. Hmm. Yeah, apologies for the, like I said, the, the little children noises in the background. She's, she's 15 months next week, uh, and she's happily playing on the floor at the moment, but occasionally grabbing my leg, aren't you? Hello, yes. Yes, you are. 
Yes. Yes. Go and play with Sven. Go on, play with Sven. We we actually got the uh, Sven reindeer teddy. Um, I think you out of Frozen because you like Frozen. If you do. Yeah. I'm not good at padding. I need to talk about something. Um, come on, computer. Let's have a look. It's pulling across the network. Trust me, to, actually, I should have probably commented the, the roots folder out first and come up with something else. Um, but my NAS box can't seem to pull more than 54 meg a second, as you can see at this point in time. Uh, and obviously 700 meg is going to take several seconds. Hello Gemma, yes, we can hear you in the background there. Uh, I may fast forward this bit. In fact I will, I'll put a cut in the video. Ooh, there we go. And we're back. There we go. I'm so powerhouse. Welcome to Area Lines. And obviously you just do next next I agree. Next, 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 next. Finish and that will go away and install it. Once it's finished, it'll then go, you can see, clean up, and it's going into the next folder. Etc. 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 So I'm going to cancel this now because you're not going to sit here and watch all of that lot run. Uh but that's it. There's a nice bulk installer for everybody who's got multiple Armstrong Power House stuff uh and would find it useful. Uh comments obviously any comments on that lot most welcome catch you in a bit bye bye